What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller, and of course, Portillo Miller here to unbox the PlayStation 5. That's right. Hey, everybody, Greg in the editing bay. Uh, so funny story. When we got the PlayStation 5 and I signed all the documents for it, you know, uh, one of them, of course, is the FTC guidelines of like, we have to disclose that PlayStation sent us the PlayStation 5 for review. So you don't think that we bought it month and a, a half a month early anyways it doesn't matter uh and so i was i all over slack and emails to the entire team like if you're making a video make sure you disclose it make sure you disclose it. you have to say it in the video and then i totally forgot to say it in this video so this is past greg or no this is future greg telling past greg hey remember this playstation was provided by playstation for playstation purposes of reviews from us and stuff like that all right back to greg uh, as of recording this, it is October 23rd, 2020. We have just finished Kind of Funny Games Daily, and that means I can finally start my journey into PlayStation 5 Beyond. Uh, if you didn't know, of course, we're youtube.com slash kind of funny games. Like, subscribe, share, do all that. Patreon.com slash kind of funny games. We got a million different podcasts. If you like video games, just plug in there. Uh, hey, kind of funny on your podcast services. You'll find PS I Love You. Our weekly PlayStation uh, thing. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube.com slash kind of funny games, remember it's a pandemic, so you're getting a much different shot than usual. But as you can see, sorry, Porty, this is the PlayStation 5 here. Hopefully, Kevin taught me how to focus onto it. So I think I got it there. I'm going to bring it in a bitch. We'll put it a, a bit, not bitch. That'll put it out of focus a bit, but I'll come on back here. I'm running you through the box. Thank you, Portillo. Uh, you got 8K. You got your 4K, 120, and then you got your HDR. And let me tell you, Tim tells me all the time these are important, and I don't understand. Uh, we have, it looks like we'll be unlock, un unboxing the disc edition in there. As you can see, it's got a disc on it. And you got the dual sense there. You spin it around over there. You got this thing. Of course, contents, PlayStation 5 console, wireless controller, base, HDMI cable, AC power cord, USB cable, printed materials, and Astro's uh, Playroom pre-installed on the, uh, it's a pre-installed game, it says. If you haven't seen the box yet, I'll spin it around here for you. Uh, the back says, play like never before. 825 gigabytes. Lightning speed. Harness the power of a custom CPU and SSD with integrated I.O. that rewrite the rules of what a PlayStation console can do. I've been saying for years, I hate that the I.O. wasn't integrated on consoles before. And now the I slash O is there. Woof. Game changer. Uh, breathtaking immersion. Discover a deeper gaming experience with support for haptic feedback, adaptive tri triggers, and 3D audio technology. Stunning games. Marvel at incredible graphics and experience new PS5 features. Uh, play a back catalog of supported PS4 games with system update. And then one of the things I think ugh, is the most interesting, and this is, of course, on the day. You've heard a lot of this stuff already. When you flip it over upside down and don't crush your wiener dog with it. Yeah. Put it like this. For PlayStation 4 console users, you can transfer uh, data to your PlayStation 5 console with the following steps. Connect your PlayStation 4 console and your PS5 console to the same network. Connect your extended storage drive from your PlayStation 4 console to your PS5 console. Sign in, this is how I'll do it, to your PlayStation 5 console with the account you created on a PS4 console. Uh, you can transfer data such as gaming history and trophies, as well as profile and friend information. Uh, it does uh, say, of course, asterisk, you must update the latest system software. No shock there. And one of the things I find disappointing, it doesn't capitalize the T in trophies. When I was at IG, IGN and we uh, trophies uh, debuted, that was one of the things I set for a style guide. Trophies has to be capitalized. I wish you, PlayStation, took them as seriously as I do. You listening to Shuhei? Start capitalizing the T. If you want to recall this box and uh, uh, do it, I'll stop now and we can get into it. Um, obviously, you know, Greg Miller here. Next year will be 14 years uh, covering video games. It's my full-time job. Of course, I was doing it uh, before then uh, for the papers. This is a weird one because I'm about to unbox the PlayStation 5, a console I have never seen with my own two eyes. A controller I've never held. Uh, usually by now, right, you would have seen these at E3. We would have seen them behind glass. We would have gone to some kind of uh, uh, demo station. But, of course, <clears throat> there's this lousy pandemic going on right now. Everybody wear your masks. Porting, I need your help. Porting, I need your help. Oh, good lord. There it goes. All right, go. Oh, man. Somebody said on Games Daily today, oh, but console isn't in there. It's very light. It is not very light. PlayStation logo on the outside of the box. Every so often you see me glance down because, again, I'm a one-man show here making sure, number one, that I'm still recording, and number two, that I didn't accidentally start streaming this and ruin the entire company via NDAs. But, yeah, big old white PlayStation box there with the PlayStation logo on it. Spinning around getting to the actual action here. Make sure my framing is good. Oh, look, it has... It has I love it when they give me the step-by-step -step instructions. Watch your head, Porty. So, number one, pull this thing out. Number two, pull that thing down and do it. Okay, so... Follow, all right, I guess I should show you, right? It's part of unboxing. See, it's telling me, number one, there's going to be a thing with a little tab. Pull that. 
And number two, pull out all the styrofoams. Oof. All right. Number one. We've done it. They said it couldn't be done. They said Greg Miller wasn't smart enough to follow these instructions. I was. High five, Porty. Was that a Borat reference? It was. It's back in vogue. You don't know. Am I out of touch and using a Borat reference, or am I so in vogue that I'm crushing it? I'll leave it to you to decide. And then here we go. You look on in there. Look at that. You can see this big, beautiful bastard ready to come on out. Also, shout out to my wiener dog, who is just... He's not... He doesn't care how many times this cardboard hits him in the face. He's not. He's not stopping. Ooh. See? Right there. That didn't even phase him. He's still sitting there. This is it. This is the console. You can see me struggling. It's a chunky. A chunky. Oof. There it is. The console that will change the way I play PlayStation games for the next seven years. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at the shine on it. Interesting. I thought there'd be the plastic to pull off. No plastic to pull off. Let me come in there. Ah. Porty, we need to scoot in and tap. Kevin taught me how to tap. There it is. Look at that. You see it right there? Beautiful. Shiny. Got the bat wings going on it. Put it up there. It looks like Wayne Tower. Look, look, you can see it reflecting back. Porty, I can see myself in it. I'm amazing. I might drown. You know what I mean? It's a reference to that story where that guy drowned. Um, as you can see, vents are there. The entire thing is vents in the back like they talked about. Got my USBs down here, my Ethernet, my HDMI, my power cable. Of course, up front, you have USB-C, USB lightning there. Can I say something? Did I say HDMI? I meant USBs, but it's all happening really fast. And as I said, she's a hefty girl. This is a hefty one. I'm putting her down. I need a breath. I need a breath. It's a heavy, it's a heavy console. Uh, it is, as people have said, tall. Like, uh, I'm a gigantic human. This is how big it is. It's a, a head and a half here. That sounds about right. I know, I know I'm out of focus. I can't tap and do everything. You know what I mean? Put the focus back on the system there. As Kevin taught me, good. All right. I know one of the big things from one of the first shots I put up was how big is it compared to Porty? Porty's a little bit taller than it. Porty's a little bit taller than the PS5 there. Um... He just doesn't care. You can do whatever you want with this elderly dog. Uh, in terms of height, it's about half his height, a little bit more than half his height. Or he's a little bit taller. I guess he's a little bit half of the height of the PlayStation. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I can't believe I'm finally holding the PlayStation 5 after talking about it for what feels like forever, and I guess my entire career in, in some regards. But you flip it up there. I do like, obviously, the PlayStation logo cut into it, etched into it over here, the face plates that are, of course, removable. Uh, eject button, power button, very clearly labeled. This is a problem with the PlayStation 4. Power button closest to the edge here, eject button right there. Uh, and then, yeah, right there for your USB-C into your USB regular. We're going to have to get into I didn't grab a screwdriver. I forgot about that. I forgot as Gary Witta tried to lie to all of us and say it's basically like building a PC, I'm going to have to get a screwdriver because I am going to put mine. Actually, I guess for the start, I'm going to put it the way I'm going to. So you can see here. Hold on. You look at my entertainment center behind it. It's going to go right here where the PlayStation 4 Spider-Man Special Edition is horizontal, but that'll be when it can sit there and stay. Obviously, the shot uh, in my shots and the way embargoes are working for this, you can't see the PlayStation 5, so I'm going to put it vertical next to the plant until it's able to be debuted for the world, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We still got work to do here, Porty. We got to get this big guy going. Oh, no, it's big sneezies. Big sneezies. All right. Well, Porty, don't sniff the PlayStation so hard you won't sneeze so much. I don't know what else to tell you, man. All right, into here then. Let's see what we got here. Obviously, this is the power cord, as made famous by one Jeff Keighley. You probably saw him get a whole bunch of stuff with it. Here's my quick start guide, very important. Here's my safety guide, not so important. What are you gonna do? You don't electrocute yourself, blow out your back, you'll be fine. Here it is, the stand. Well, here's what I'll say, you know, not a lot going on in the boxes, which I appreciate. It's very simple, right? Here's the HDMI. Everybody's very excited about this. This is another Tim thing. It needs to be the right HDMI, right? It needs to be the, what is it, 2.1 or whatever. Again, I'm Greg Miller. Just let me play my games and I'll be happy. And then, ah, something I've been waiting a long, hold on. Put it down. Obviously, it's the controller I'm building up to. What is this? There's something in here? There is. Ah, the cable, of course. My USB. USB to USB-C, as you expect now, as everything's USB-C, quick charger. More importantly, Porty, stop sniffing so hard. You'll stop sneezing. There it is. What do you think, Porter? You want to you kiss it? 
Forty's not impressed. Uh, the dual sense controller, everybody. Let me bring it in here. <clears throat> Tap on it for you. Forty, stop sneezing so much. Stop sniffing so hard. There it is. You see it? It's beautiful. Stark white, which I know a lot of people not a big fan of. You got your buttons there. Shoulder buttons up there. No plastics to peel off this. Headphone jack there. Microphone built in. New PlayStation button. Just the logos, of course. Sacred symbols up here. Come back here. Turn it back to spot focus. Let's see what I got here now. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Face buttons feel good. For some reason, the D-pad feels not different, but different than how I feel when I talk about using a DualShock. I guess it's because you just didn't have the... DualShock makes such a big deal out of having the flat piece around all the D-pad stuff. This one's still flat, but it doesn't have that, like, landing press. I think it's more just there. Mm, yeah, I'm excited to play stuff with this. Feels good. No haptics, obviously, or anything going on, because it's a controller that's off. we got to get this thing set up, which will be in a later video, of course. Um, but, yeah, this feels good. Heavier than the heavier than the DualShock 4, which we knew, but you start talking about what you feel, right? Like, it doesn't feel crazy heavier. But definitely, feel, I'm doing this off camera, sorry. Trying to do all this stuff. Um, but no, it feels good. All right. Okay. Okay. Get this garbage out of here. Then the stand, of course. One screw in it, and Gary Witta says that makes it PC gaming. Get out of here, Gary Witta. Go host an Xbox podcast, you know, Porty? People think they can just push me around, see what I want. Not on my watch. Here you go. My little my little slide thing, or is it a rotator? I forget. You know, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm supposed to, of course, read the uh, how to the startup guides. Let's look in here. Let's, let's open the quick start guide. See what we got going on here, Porty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Number one on the quick start guide. Attach the base. They want you to attach the base here. I know, Goonie. You can't pin down my arm. I'm doing stuff. Always attach. The base of the console, whether it's in the vertical or horizontal position, place your console on a flat surface when attaching the base. You'll need to reconfigure the base position for your console. Yeah, okay, on board. So, make sure the hook is in the position illustrated bef below before attaching it. So it wants... Okay, so here's what it wants. It wants me to go like this and go like that. Bam, we've done it. And then look at there. The screw's out. That's what it was. You move that thing, that's what does it. And you're like, Greg, I saw the presentation, I know. And I'm like, good for you. Pop the screw out. Flathead. Porty, can you go fetch me a flathead screwdriver? <laughs> if only, right? Everybody excuse me for one minute. I'm going to go get a flathead screwdriver because I should have done this ahead of time and I forgot. Gary would have shut up. All right, so here's what we do now. Place the center. I'm, again, I'm just reading the instructions that came with it. Why is my hair doing this? Stop it. No, not that hair. Yeah, that's the one. Get out of there. What are you doing, you crazy hair? Has it been that way the whole time? Good Lord. Place the console with the rear side facing up. Then remove the screw hole cap. <sighs> so place the console with the rear side facing up. Huh? And then remove the screw hole cap. It's right there. All right. I just cut my nails yesterday. That was a bad move. Yeah. See, this is, it's horizontal. I'm going for that screw hole cap. I know it's out of focus. I'm sorry. I'm not going to tap on it. I'm sure IGN's got 15 guys over there. They're doing a million videos that are all professional like. I'm over here. I'm doing it like this. All right, so do this. And remove the screw hole cap. How do I remove the screw hole cap? Do I need tweezers? Yeah. Oh, no. You can just pull on it. Oh, oh, oh. Roll away. I got it. Then, of course, as we saw in the video, pop it off and put it right there to be remembered. Boom. Now it's there. Now it's right there. Not going to fall out, are you? Nope, you're not. All right. Then. Attach the base and then secure the screw with a coin or a similarly shaped object. Oh, I could have just used that. <laughs> All right. But they want me to go boom, boom, like that. It hooks right into the butt here. That's helpful. And then glide that in. And then come on over with this guy. Look at me, PC gamer. 
Gary Witta. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to get it tight. I don't want anything to happen to this thing. It's very important to me right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, good. And then there you go. Oof. We got a base hooked up to the booty. Tap again, there you go. It's there. It's screwed in. It's just the way you want it. And look at that. It's Wayne Tower in all its glory. The PlayStation 5. Oh, ready to play whatever video game you want to put in. Oh, let's push it back over there and do this thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that. What else do I need to know here? Horizontal position. We'll get to that another time. HDMI is, of course, the normal stuff. Land cables. You know how this goes. Charging up your controllers, syncing your controllers, and then make it your own. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Greg Miller's unboxing of the PlayStation 5. Obviously, uh, there are tiered embargoes for the PlayStation 5, so a lot more coverage coming your way. YouTube.com slash games, Like, subscribe, share. Uh, and then, of course, the number of different podcasts we do. If I had to recommend some, I would say first, P.S. I Love You XOXO. It's our PlayStation podcast each and every Tuesday. Uh, me and Blessing talking about all things PlayStation. Obviously, as we get deeper and deeper into our PlayStation 5 reviews and impressions, we'll be able to tell you more. Of course, the Kind of Funny Games cast is your place for reviews of videos video games uh, there'll be tons of those for the playstation 5 and xbox series x for that matter uh, as we get into this holiday season and then also we have a new thing called first impressions kind of funny first impressions if you want to subscribe to that on your favorite podcast feed you of course can go catch us talking about brand spanking new video games each and every week also there's streams on twitch.tv slash kind of funny games there's a whole different youtube channel that has nothing to do with games called kind of funny um youtube.com slash kind of funny uh but i'm sure this is what you care about not nick scarpino Yelling about 80s movies. So, again, I'll give you some beauty shots to get you out of here. Close up on it. There you go. This big, big old baby. Look at you. So, so reflective. You can see me in it. Portillo, I'm gorgeous. There. Be that way horizontal. Be that way standing up. This big old book. If you had two of them, you have the Ten Commandments. Let my people go. Not, not, same movie, but he didn't do it with the, he didn't say that with this PlayStation was provided by PlayStation for reviews about PlayStations because that's what we review here at Kind of Funny Games because we're not bought by PlayStation, but they send us stuff because we're influencers and we used to be press, so we didn't have to do these things. But they think we're influencers and then other companies think we're press. So it's very confusing if we're press or influencers for people. But for this video in particular, uh, PlayStation 5 was provided by PlayStation for review. 